It's so green out here. This is amazing. We haven't seen this much green since Southeast Asia. Well, this is fun. Sucks. Pushing our bike up this very loose, very steep gravel road. This week we rode from Lago Deki to the border with Turkey and it was quite the roller coaster. The day after we crossed the border into Georgia we stopped in the town of Lago Deki because it was my birthday. And so Justin had asked me before what I wanted to do for my birthday and I thought about it and as much as we love cycling we do that every day so it's kind of mundane so I figured why don't we do something different for my birthday? Let's go hiking. So we stopped for the day in Lago Deki and we went hiking in the Lago Deki Nature Reserve. It's so green out here. This is amazing. We haven't seen this much green since Southeast Asia. This is amazing. She's so slow. And it was so nice. We hiked to this beautiful waterfall through like this super green forest. And, and it rained a little bit. It rained a little bit? That was the first time we'd seen rain in months. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, after so much desert, it was very refreshing to finally be in forest. Yeah, it was really, really nice. I made it! because we spent all day hiking we were really tired and then we took an extra rest day the next day to just pretty much sleep all day in our in <laughs> our room but it was a nice break and then we were on to Tbilisi So when we arrived at Tbilisi, I uh, wanted to change the chain, change the timing chain here. So it was getting long, getting stretched out, and starting to jump off. And so we went to the bike shop, which was not very close to where we were staying, and found a, uh, found a chain for it, bought it, went outside to put it on, and lo and behold, we can't get our bike apart to put it on. Um, so to, to put the chain on, you have to shorten the bike first through here and it wouldn't move it was rusted in place seized beyond all repair and so we took the bike apart as best we could and wrenched on it with a hammer and and vice and fire and all kinds of stuff and couldn't get it apart 
And so we dicked around with that for about two hours. And then at the bike shop, and then I was like, ah, we need more tools, this isn't gonna work. So they pointed us towards another tool area, tool, sh uh, yeah, tool market that we went to, and we uh, bought a pipe wrench so we could grab a hold of the pipe and try and twist it out better. And that was highly unsuccessful. All we managed to do with that was to twist and mangle the tube and get zero millimeters of movement out of it. So at this point, we didn't really know what to do because we weren't sure. We basically put a hole in the tube with the pipe wrench and we weren't sure how dirty the tube was anymore and if it was going to last or if it was going to get worse and start to crack. And by we weren't sure, she means <laughs> Kara was paranoid. I was paranoid, but you also weren't sure. You thought it would be fine, but we didn't know. Yeah, I said it would be fine, let's just watch it, and Kara was like, no, that's not acceptable. Well, it's a tandem with a lot of weight on it, and I was just worried that it was going to crack and fail and we were going to crash or something. but. Regardless, Justin finally convinced me we're just going to keep going. Um, this so is how maintenance works. You, <laughs> you monitor things and watch. And yeah. then if they need repair, you can repair them. If not, you don't have to. Yeah. So we did contact Bike Friday and informed them about the situation, told them what was going on, and asked if they could make us a replacement tube and like and the front post? Yeah, the front piece because it wouldn't come apart. Yeah, because it wouldn't come apart. Um, so they eventually got back to us after a few days and said they could make it, but that they were backed up with orders until like mid-September is what they yeah, said, right? Yeah, it would right? take about two months to make it. Yeah, and we were like, well, crap. Like, That's not very useful, guys. Like, we don't even know if this is going to last two months. Um, like, we might just have to end our trip. So, yeah, we were, we didn't, we were really unsure just about what was going to happen, but we had to get to Istanbul by the end of August because we were going home for my best friend's wedding. So we were like, well, as long as it lasts until then, we'll be fine and then we'll figure out what to do. So we had them put in the part for order. And we figured, well, we're both really tired anyway, and we're pro we figured we're probably going to need to get this tube replaced. So we ended up deciding to book an Airbnb in Greece and stay there for like a month, and hopefully that would be enough time for Bike Friday to manufacture our new parts and ship them to us. So we left Tbilisi. I was really paranoid and unsure of how the ride was going to go, but it turned it was out just perfect. fine. It was perfectly fine. Yeah. After all of five minutes, you forget that that's even, that was even an issue. So we left the desert a few days ago, and now somehow here in Georgia we found ourselves back in the desert. Garbage. Not quite sure how that happened, and we do not like it. What a beautiful pipe! Nice wasted water in the middle of the desert. Ah, but it feels so good! <laughs> <laughs> There's some high mountains over there. So as quick as we uh, entered the desert yesterday, we left it and found the forest again, which is amazing because I was really, really disappointed when we were suddenly in the desert again. But it's okay. The higher we climbed, the more greenery we found. And last night we found this awesome camp spot in this little grassy patch right next to the forest. So nice. We climbed about 
700 meters, I think, yesterday to get here. And now today we've got another 1,000 meters up to the top of this ridiculously long climb to get out of Georgia. And I'm really hoping that we can make it to the top today and hopefully camp up by a lake. So we'll see how it goes. The weather is nice and cool today for a change. So it's shaping up to be a good day for climbing if there ever was one. so much time in the desert. I've never loved trees as much as I do right now. <laughs> well, we thought we were gonna have an all uphill day. And we've been going down. Are we below where we camped last yeah, night? Yeah, we're below where we camped. <laughs> Fucking hell. We climbed 300 meters so that we could come all the way back down, plus probably another 200 farther down. Yeah, and then we still have to go all the way back up to the reservoir that we were originally going to. So, yeah, that happened. Basically, we turned down or we went on a different road than the route because the route took us on a gravel road and the other road was paved and still went to the same place. But what we couldn't see on the map was that it went all the way down into this valley river gorge and then all the way back up to the reservoir. So And it turned into gravel anyways. Well, it's like remnants of pavement. <laughs> There's some pavement left there. Beautiful though. Hey, gal. What's up, my friend? Well, this is fun. Sucks. Pushing our bike up this very loose, very steep gravel road. <sighs> Our only savior is that, crossing my fingers, that some car comes up behind us from the village below and offers to give us a ride up to the top. But we'll see. That's Tabashi Canyon. Over there. We finally made it to the top. Oh, we've only gone like 46k, but it's definitely the hardest 46k of the trip. Oh, we're probably just gonna stay here today. We have never had to push so much on this loose gravel, like 400 meter climb. <sighs> but we're here and the views are incredible. Well, last night's camp spot wasn't nearly as good as our camp spot the night before. We just ended up camping right here, off the side of the road. But it worked out, nobody bothered us. There's not too much traffic on this road, so we slept just fine. Now we just have to go up this loveliness, which it's really hard to tell how steep it is on a camera, but really really steep we've got 10 kilometers to the top of the climb six of which are at 10 percent the first six and the last four are much more reasonable so we're really excited to finally be done with this climb and we've got a package of sour gummy worms waiting for us at the top that i've been saving for two days for when we finally reach the top i'm so excited to eat them all right we made it to the top of the climb the Garmin says we're at 2,168 meters. See the lake down there? Looks nice. Took us like an hour and a half to get here, which is actually shorter than I figured. I thought it might take us two hours, but oh, we're finally done climbing. And we're gonna go down to the lake and eat some sour gummies. And I'm really excited.
tails. I can't move as well as you. Move with them, Justin. Hey, guys. Lake. It's a pretty spot for a border crossing. So we rode up the big mountain climbs of Georgia. No problem, and our bike seemed to be working just fine. So, yeah, down the harrowing, shitty descents. Yeah, we took it over gravel. We had a hike a bike. Oh, we ended up breaking our trailer. Our trailer mount. One of our trailer mounts snapped as we were hike a biking it up the steep gravel ascent towards the lake but our bike didn't break so that was all that mattered <laughs> and off on our trip we went <laughs>